Good morning, Willow families. Bienvenidos. Today is November 2nd, el segundo de noviembre, and we will be talking about the Day of the Dead, el Día de los Muertos. But before we do that, let's center ourselves. Let's close our eyes and breathe. It is not the same as Halloween. While well, Halloween is celebrated on October 31st, El Dia de los Muertos is celebrated on November 2nd and 1st. El Dia de los Muertos originated in ancient Mesoamerica, Mexico, and Northern Central America, where indigenous groups such as Maya, Toltec, and Aztec had a special time to memorialize their loved ones who had passed away. After the arrival of the Spanish, this holiday was intertwined with the two Spanish holidays, All Saints Day, which was on November 1st, and All Souls Day, which was on November 2nd. So today, we celebrate El Dia de los Muertos on November 1st and November 2nd. El Dia de los Muertos was celebrated in Mexico and some parts of Central and South America. Today, it has become increasingly popular among Latino countries abroad, including the United States of America. El Dia de los Muertos was a celebration of life, not death. Ancient Mesoamericans believed that death was a part of the journey of life rather than death ending the life. They believed that new things came from death and El Dia de los Muertos was a time to honor and celebrate your loved ones who had passed. Like any other celebration, this was filled with music and dancing. The ofrenda is a central component. The ofrenda is often the most recognized symbol when thinking of El Dia de los Muertos. The ofrenda is a temporary altar where you put photos of family that had passed away. You put up objects that belong to them and things that, you, that remind you of them in their life. Flowers, butterflies, and skulls are typically used as symbols. The sempa suchila, a type of marigold flower native to Mexico, is often placed on ofrendas and around the graves. With their strong scent and vibrant color, petals are used to make a path that leads the spirits from the cemetery to their family's homes. Monarch butterflies play a role in Dia de los Muertos because they are believed to hold the spirits of the departed. This belief stems from the fact that the first monarchs arrive in Mexico for the winter each fall on November 1st, which coincides in di with Dia de los Muertos. Calaveritas de azúcar or sugar skulls are used as whimsical reminders of the cycle of life, which is why they are brightly decorated. Day of the Dead isn't somber, it is a celebration. While many would expect Dia de los Muertos to be a solemn memorial day, it is actually a joyous occasion, meant as a celebration of life. Instead of everything being dark and somber, the holiday is bright and colorful, with decorations filling nearly every home and public space. It is common to have celebratory meals with family, as well as street parties and music and dancing. In many towns, there are celebratory processions involving masks, puppets, and colorful costumes. Hola y welcome Willow School. The lower school has also been busy working on Dia de los Muertos. Through stories, games, chants, and songs, we explored this wonderful tradition. And all together, we prepared this ofrenda. This is what an ofrenda looks like. People would have an ofrenda like this in their houses to honor their loved ones. So each grade prepared a different symbol to put together our willow ofrenda. Second grade, we're in charge of the food. You know, uh, we cannot have an authentic Mexican celebration without the food. So they pretended they were the ones celebrating and they drew their favorite food. Third grade, prepare the same pasuchiles. These flowers, the marigolds, in Spanish, we call same pasuchiles, same pasuchiles. And people believe that the smell and the colors, the bright colors of the flower, help the spirits guide their way back to their houses. The fourth graders prepared the skulls made of sugar, the sugar skulls. Las calaveras de azúcar. And what people do is, they prepared a big bowl of sugar, they let it dry, and when it's dry and hard, 
with a little knife, they carve the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And then with food coloring, they add all the beautiful and bright colors. And some people even eat them afterwards. And the fifth graders made portraits of their loved ones that passed away. We have some great, great grandparents and we also have some pets that passed away. We had a great time listening to stories about great, great grandparents going to war and great, great grandmothers getting on big ships and coming to America. The children really enjoyed those stories. So today, Dia de los Muertos, I would like to encourage you to talk to the children about their people that, that passed away. Kids love to hear stories about their relatives. And also, I want you to have fun with the other muertos. Go and eat some sugar scouts if you can find them. And always remember to enjoy and celebrate life. Thank you very much and see you soon.